folks. We're back out here chasing these big old rattlesnakes again, but I'm gonna tell you what, I'm in an area now that they are so big that I had to beef up my equipment, man. I've got my super guards on by crack shot. I've got my snake boots on under here from Chippewa. I've got my gentle giant catcher now. This is so gentle on them. If you have to move one just from the hole, which we're just trying to do hooks only, this thing's concaved in here, and it doesn't put that pressure on them like, like the old regular ones would. But, uh, and and that's, that's the difference in that. Uh, now we've also, for you guys that get out there and maybe hunt alone that are crazy like me, then I've went to these giant bags because the other day we had a snake so big that he come right up out of the out of the uh, sack right over my head almost. Actually, he's the snake we're getting out here in just a minute that weighed eight pounds. Uh, Tongs Unlimited, man, they are the number one leaders in all the snake handling equipment. Now when the wind's blowing, man, look at that thing. It's six, seven foot of bag. Watch it hold up. Now, when it's a non-windy day, all you got to do is get you a rock and lay in here. And here's one right here that will work real nice. And it'll keep that flat down, but keep it out here where you can, you know, get them out of there. And then we got a long deal here that helps stretch that out. And then a good old stick in the middle usually works pretty good. You can get you an old forked one or something. If you're all alone and you want to bag one of these things, this is the best way to, I know, to go about it. Because I've tried hanging these bags in trees and lifting them, and that's looking pretty good for me. Here we go. He's a big old nice gold one. Uh, don't get bit. That'd be my tip like him do it about to do now. I've got him so far down here. Ah, just pulled his rattles off, folks, so he's silent. See that? Oh, no. oh that's quite all right. But now I don't have near as much to hang on to. <laughs> Let me get this out. Oh, there he is. There's the rattle. All right. Let's go down here. And see if he'll go. Oh, he don't like it. Go right in the bag, hopefully. Like a good rattlesnake. And he ain't. That's all right. Whew. He's a live one. I don't want to break that rattle. See? The things I get myself into, folks. I tell you, I got a collapsed bag. Why is black bag? Well, if I could talk right now, I tell you, it's the underworld. They're safe going into the darkness. That's the thing. The white bag is just a, is just a. Uh, it, it just is spookier to him for some reason. Here's another little trick. Watch this. Being my stick fell down. See, I'm full of tricks, folks. I'm out of breath because I'm 60 years old. Too. All right. Now I'm going to lay him up on here like a, like a pizza almost. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And he's in like Flynn. We throw that over, we get this out, because we want to be able to pick this thing up in a minute. Let's get rid of that rock. Now, the thing is, get these up here. And keep working them down. Work that snake all the way to the end of that bag for safety. That's all for safety. And as I'm working up, you don't want him sliding under. Get a foot on there. I should have already had my foot under there. And the, and the more you want to constrict him. So, when I'm getting ready to put this thing in the backpack and carry him for a mile or two with four or five others, I want that bag as tight as possible. 
And the reason for that is so he's got less movement, less to work and try and work a way out of a hole or a frayed piece of fabric. Um, and uh, like I say, because these things will do anything. They're amazing, amazing. And anyway, he is back. Now here's a proper way to put him in the box if you, uh, if you uh, will get your box, once you get to your truck, get your box out. Another thing on very hot days, wet the bag down on a hot summer day because these snakes like it between 70 and 80 degrees. And if they get too hot, they'll have a heat stroke, just like a human. Okay, the best way to do this is to get him, put him in the box all the way down. Let your bag lay out and close the lid. Then you get this all back open. It's not all tangled up. Drop that down in there with him. And push him all the way to the back. I'm not going to push him. I'm going to slide him. And then I'm going to get my catcher here. My little gentle giant works real good for, on this where the mothers aren't because it has a little nipple and it grabs that bag, believe it or not, a little easier than, the, than those other ones. And as soon as you can get to the, to the end of it, just keep working it out. Slowly let him slide. And be careful when you get to this part because a lot of times they might be looking right at you. So just give it a little more of that. Spook him on down in there. And there he is, just like we thought. See, see there? Just get away. And that is a bag and tagged rattlesnake that weighed eight pounds a while ago. But I just ripped off about an ounce. Look, folks, man, he had a string of them. Now, those are keratin. It's just like fingernail material or hair material. Each time they get big shed, they grow another double segment here. They're born with a little bitty button. And they might shed four, five, six times a year. That means, man, they are healthy and growing and doing good. And uh, the old wise tale is, you know, you can always tell the age by the rattle. They can put three or four or five of them on in one year. So when they get really old, these things just, just pull apart and they're hollow. There's nothing in there like little beads, they say, or something. See it? It's those columns banging together. And uh, when we get ready, to, if, if that snake was going to be one to, to, a guy was going to mount and he'd come over here, I'm a taxidermist, by the way, he would uh, say, I want 20 rattles. So we'll just glue 20 on there, and he'll have 20 rattles. <laughs>